If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me Hi guys, and Karibisana to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jambi Joroge. Welcome to my little space, okay? So today we are doing cornrows, really, really cute cornrows. So yeah, I've been looking for a hairstyle for like the next two weeks, just because I'm going to be a little bit busy and I thought what better thing to paint than cornrows so yeah let's get into the video but before we start don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up so went ahead sectioned my hair off camera as you can see my hair is already parted you can get somebody to do this for you or can do it by yourself i had to get some help because yeah <laughs> there's no way i was parting at the back correctly so i had to ask someone so this is me just undoing and i'm going to comp this out and actually decided to comp uh to also comp out the second one just because i felt like that parting wasn't as neat as i wanted it to be so this is me going in with that wax that i just showed you and i'm just going to apply that over that line and then i'm going to grab a <laughs> skewer <laughs> And I'm going to section that line just so that I can have like a perfect line. I do, I promise I do have a comb that I can do this with. The one with like a really sharp edge, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Isn't it so funny that whenever you want to do something, you never find whatever you need. So I'm just going to section out the uh, part that I'll not be using. And then I'm going in with my Monstera Hydrating Butter. This is just to moisturize the hair and it's what I'll be using to braid. Um, I'm also going in with a little bit of that wax. I forgot to show you. And this is just so that I can have like that kind of like a perfect um, look. You don't necessarily have to do it. So I actually changed my mind guys and decided to do the first one just to kind of make sure that I was on track and um, I tried to use, you see normally I'd use number 30 but I tried it and it didn't look very well, it didn't look so nice rather so I decided to mix the two so I'm mixing number 30 and my braid number one to kind of get this kind of color right here so let's get into the actual braiding. So when I started to learn how to braid, the thing that helped me the most is knowing that when it comes to contouring your hair, so long as you know how to braid, you can easily do this. So as you can see, I'm sectioning my hair into three parts and then I'm going to start just uh, braiding like I normally would. So utashuka tu ni kama unashuka matuta. Yes, you're just going to plate uh, kawaida and then now the difference is that you're going to be plating going backwards and as you go backwards you add more hair i really hope that makes sense um i'm trying to figure out like the best way to explain it and i think that's probably the best way i can say it so you're just doing like your normal braids you know your three strand braids where you you braid just kawaida to how you do it but now you're doing it going backwards and as you go backwards you add a little bit of hair so as I go backwards, each section, I'm adding some hair to that particular section. Actually thought, let me turn so that you can see what I'm doing. So as you can see, I'm just braiding like I normally would, but I'm braiding going backwards. And then once I get to the back, I add more hair to that section. And pretty much that, imagine it's that simple. <laughs> it's that simple um the problem usually comes in parting the parting i'm not going to lie to you parting is a problem so if you can find someone to help you then that's the best but so long as you know that you're just starting out with a normal three strand twist you're just starting out with three sections and then you're going to break those three sections and then as you go backwards you add more hair to that particular section don't worry if you've not gotten the hang of it i am going to be repeating it later on in the video and then as you can see i was facing this other side so when i got to the back just so that i can have like a straight line and so that this the line cannot go sideways i decided to face the front and just kind of uh plate at the back and then this is where i'm going to be adding my hair once i get to the very end of my natural hair uh, or rather just like two centimeters before i finish braiding i'm just going to start adding our hair as you can see i mixed number 30 and number one just to kind of get this really nice color and you just add the hair as you've just seen me do you just add it and then you just continue braiding and you will pretty much be done 
so as you go you can add more hair to kind of make the braid longer um that's just up to you whatever it is that you prefer personally i hate short braids so i made mine a little bit longer okay thought we'd do that again just so that you can really get the hang of it so this is my third section um i didn't part this one just because it was okay so i'm just going to go ahead comp it then i go in with my mozzarella hydrating butter and then i'm going to apply a little bit of my wax kidogo you don't need to apply a lot um the white stuff is the mozzarella but don't worry it will just blend in with your hair again i'm starting off with three strands as you can see i have three strands of hair so those three strands i'm going to start braiding them together and then i'm going to braid going backwards and as what i mean by going backwards is that i'm going to pick hair from the back and join it to each of the sections so whatever section is at the back i take it at the back i add hair to it and then i just go ahead and braid it out i really hope i'm making sense oh it's so difficult to explain but i really hope you're getting the hang of it what i learned about this is that you just need to practice just practice 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 so i did do contours on myself a couple of times before but this is like the second time that i'm doing contours that i can actually like walk in outside the house typically I just do controls for just staying inside the house but i wanted like neat ones that would last me like around two weeks so that's why we are doing controls again this is me just braiding the hair it is a very repetitive process when i get to the back i face forward just so that i can have like a straight line so yeah don't forget to face forward otherwise your line will end up a bit crooked and then once i get to the end I, that's where i start adding my hair of course if your hair is shorter or it's hard to braid you can add your braiding hair at the beginning but yeah me i just wanted to add my braiding hair at the end there was no particular reason for doing this i could have had it, added the hair added <laughs> i could have added the hair at the front but i just opted to do it at the back So the Mosara editing butter is what I was using to braid my hair and the reason I was using it is because it really helps to moisturize but I must say that you that I did do my hair prep just before I started doing my contours so I did wash my hair I deep conditioned it and then I did now my protective hairstyle prep which is actually the video just before this one so you might want to pause go watch that one and then come back here I will link it down in the description box down below just so that you can see how to prep your hair before you get your protective style also it's important to mention that you don't really have to blow dry your hair for this hairstyle personally i didn't blow dry mine or i did was just stretch it using the threading method now guys the first side was easy it was an easy breeze the second time this other side that i'm braiding now gave me such a hard time i had to undo and do them again and again and again i don't know why they were just not coming off as neat as the first side but by the end of it i was like you know what it's whatever i generally don't care <laughs> so long as they look neat it's fine but they look like they were done by different person by different people like if you look at my right side and my left side they don't look like the same person was braiding it but i was honestly over it So that is the final look my last this side turned out so good this side not so much i struggled a little bit i don't know if i included it but i actually undid this too so many times because they were just not doing what they were supposed to do and honestly your arms will hurt so bad but it's worth it but it's cute enough for me to leave the house so i'm going to rock it regardless Honestly, for my second time contouring, I think I did a pretty decent job and I am so happy with the results. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, share with your family and friends and I'll see you in the next one. Bye and thank you so much for watching.